Hello, hi, my name's Sean. Um, my job title is Outreach Programs Manager. Uh, what that means is I work here in the university and I help run events where we bring in members of the public to tell us tell everybody about the research we do in the building. Um, we run events for school children to hopefully inspire them to consider studying physics at a higher level. And what I do in my spare time, I have a small child, so I have a daughter who's four, so she keeps me quite busy. I also enjoy cycling and I do a bit of cooking. Um, I like to cook Greek food at the moment. Okay, so I've got to pick these questions and tell you the answers. Okay, um, what advice would you now give your 12-year-old self? Okay, uh, keep at it, I guess. Um, so, yeah, keep studying, keep enjoying doing science. It's, it, it all works out in the end. That's quite nice. Uh, maybe I should have stuck at some of the hobbies I have. That might have been quite nice. So I, I used to do uh, martial arts, and I think actually it would have been quite nice to continue that as I got a bit older. But I, at about 12 year old, when I was about 12, I stopped doing it. So maybe I'd say just keep at that for a little bit longer. OK, next one. What is your favourite invention? Uh, well, I, I do like inventions that help make my life easier. So I like gadgets and things in the kitchen. But I guess, sort of historically, uh, I always think like x-ray machines are pretty, pretty cool. I mean, using light to see inside the body, which where otherwise doctors would have had to guess or perform operations. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty amazing what, what um, physics can do for medicine. And x-ray is a good example. OK, where do you see yourself in five years' time? I've thought about this, but uh, I'm maybe the same place. I quite enjoy my job. I quite enjoy being here at Oxford and work with really lots of lovely people. Um, so I'd be pretty happy if I was still doing the same sort of stuff in five years' time. Uh, next, describe yourself in three words. Um, I guess I'm quite friendly. Uh, I try and be helpful. And mostly I'm organised, but not all the time, I'd say. And the final one, who is your hero? Oh, I'm not, I'm not, sure, who, I'm not sure who my hero is, but uh, there's been lots of people who've kind of inspired me along the way, which are uh, some really amazing people. Uh, I remember I watched a documentary when I was about 12 about Jocelyn Belbonnel and her discovery of the pulsar and how she was overlooked for the Nobel Prize. And it was just a really inspiring story. And I hadn't really realized at that point that fewer females did physics. And it, that was made me really determined to do physics and encourage others to do it. Um, but even in my sort of day, more day-to-day -day life, um, I used to speak about science at the kitchen table with my dad. And my granddad was an engineer. And I loved hearing about his stories. And these are the people that kind of inspired me and got me to where I am here today. <laughs> Nod. <laughs>